If you want to take useful and effective medical reference images, there are four concepts you need to learn. First, let's talk about lighting. Proper lighting will ensure a high quality and detailed image, while poor lighting will yield low detail and grainy images. Soft light is best, which is achieved using a diffuser, such as this one. An example of this is the translucent covering on overhead fluorescent lighting. This gives a soft and well distributed light. The easiest thing you can do to improve the light is to reposition the patient so that the subject of the picture is out of the shadow and within the reach of the overhead lighting. If you are lucky enough to have a window in the exam room, this is also an excellent diffuse soft light. Avoid using harsh directional light, such as light from an overhead procedure bulb or a pen light. This will likely cause areas of interest in the photograph to appear too bright and to lose detail. Having the light come in at a slight angle can help show the definition of topography in bumpy lesions. Viewpoints Although time is a constraint to most providers, the more pictures possible the better. At minimum, one should collect two views, one close up and one far away. The close up shot shows detail. A far away image is also important because it shows where the lesion is on the body. It can also give context to the size of the lesion. In order to show the texture and topography of the lesion, consider also taking an oblique or angled viewpoint. Proper focus. Focus is essential for an image to be useful. Some medical picture taking apps allow for touch to focus, but some have this feature disabled. For some applications, the only option for focusing is autofocus. If the image appears to be out of focus, delete the picture and try again, or just take another. The small monitor on your camera may be deceiving and you will not realize the image is out of focus until you view it on a large monitor. Take lots of pictures and this will increase your chances of getting a good focused image. Due to the limitation of your camera lens, you will only be able to get so close before you start to lose focus. As you can see, we're too close and the image is blurry. Use of a reference tool. Use a reference tool when taking the image. This will help represent accurate size and color for the lesion. Use a ruler with metric measurements. Consider adding a color reference. For example, you may add colored stickers. Try to put the zero marker where the lesion begins to provide for easier measuring. Consider marking the border of the lesion with a skin marker. This will make it easy to tell where the lesion begins or ends. If the reference tool is obscuring the lesion, just take another without the reference. If you remember these four concepts, lighting, viewpoints, focus, and references, your medical images will be crisp, clear, and professional. Thank you for watching.